Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and welcome to this new episode where I'm going to let you know about a very new and special feature in Microsoft Power BI. Recently, Microsoft team has released a new feature where you can perform visual level calculations. But what is it and how it's going to help you? Well, everything you're going to get to know in this video. So if you are interested, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to explain you everything about it. Before we proceed further, guys, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. If you would like to try visual level calculations, then first of all, you have to enable this feature under options. If you can click over here, settings, then you would get a pop-up. Over here, you would find this button, which is preview features. Please click over here and here you would get all the preview features that you would like to try. Over here, you would find this visual calculations. I have already selected it. If you haven't, you need to select it over here, then click on this OK button or press it over here. Then you may need to restart your Power BI desktop application. Only then this option is going to be visible for you. All right, I have done it already. So I'm going to cancel it here. You can see that this button over here, which is saying new calculation. This is under home tab on your Power BI desktop app. It's not highlighted because I haven't select any visual as of now. So in order to use it, you have to select it then you have to click over here but before going over here you also need to visit this using visual calculations which is in preview feature this has not been available generally so i would strongly recommend you guys to please go through this article over here you are going to find everything that what is it how you can use it what are the different functions available over here and not only that you would also get to know the limitations how you can hide any field etc there are certain other important information over here as well, such as this axis. Many of those functions that you would see under visual calculations have an optional parameter, which is known as axis. As you can see that you can change the axis over there and you would find these axis icons over there, which means that if you see this one, it's rows. It's going to help you to calculate vertically across the rows because the context changes over there. If you are using text functions, then I'm sure you are aware, aware about filters and its context. What does that mean? How it works? If you have any question on that, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Also, I'm going to provide you the Dex and the series link in the description section where I have explained all the different Dex functions with particular examples. So please do check that as well. Now, there are certain other part of this visual calculation as well. For example, another parameter over here is reset. This reset parameter basically available only for visual calculations. Reset parameter is going to influence whenever there is going to be a function which can reset value to zero or it can switch it into different value. So please don't forget to check it out. Now, what are the different available functions? You would get it over here. Then you would also get to know what are the different constitution and limitations. This part is most important one. And why is that? Reason being certain times we just use it and then if it's not working, then we start complaining, hey, it's not working. But that's not it. Guys, there are always certain limitations whenever we are using certain functionality in any tool. So please get to know that first. And the most important over here is that not all visual types are supported. So please keep an eye over here. Now coming back over here, just to introduce you that what is new calculation function. First of all, you have to select your visual. You can either select this one or there can be any other visual that you are using, but you have to check it whether that visual is going to support this new functionality or feature in Power BI desktop app or not. Once you are here, click on this new calculation tab and it's going to open this window over here. Now, if you don't know what you really want to do, then you can also select this option fx it's going to give you a lot of commonly used different functions over here for example i can start using moving average so i have to click moving average here first you have to select your field then you have to select your window size now if you are going to come again here then you can select running sum and running sum you have to delete this now first and then you have to use it this field and field is going to be my sales that's it then hit the enter button and now you can see that you have your running sun over here 
So this is how you can use it. Not only that, if you don't want to use this one, you can hide it as well. Now you can see that it's not appearing there at all. So you can hide, unhide, remove, or you can add any other calculation as well. Let's try to add one more calculation. If I come over here and I say, hey, I want to check my versus first, although it's going to use the field and it's another field, then we can again select here my field, which is sales and same here, sales. And if you will hit the enter button or just click over here to commit, then you would find your field over here. So it's going to give the differences and all versus first that how it's working. If you would like to know more about it, please leave your comment in the comment section. This is it for this part where we introduce the visual calculations in Microsoft Power BI Desktop app, which you can also publish onto your Power BI services. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, concern or any feedback, please do share with us. Also, if you are looking for any of the Microsoft Power BI or Microsoft Fabric training programs or any consultation, please contact us. If you like this video, please do share with your colleagues and friends as well. Till then, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.